Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be just showing you a quick tip that I found um, when you wanna replace a layer in After Effects. So this has been in After Effects for a long time. Um, I just found it, but when I found it, it kind of really saved me in a situation that, man, like if I didn't have it, it would have been a really big nightmare. So um, let's just go ahead and jump into After Effects and I'll tell you what I mean. So. Um, here in this After Effects composition, um, this tutorial was done a few weeks ago. Um, it's basically kind of replicating the Apple iMac Pro um, logo reveal from their little trailer. I'll show you what theirs looks like. It looks kind of like this. I reproduced it um, frame by frame. Um, mine's a little bit more full. Theirs is kind of like, was supposed to be just like a simple short frame and they have some other um, added effects there. Um, but I kind of wanted it to be kind of a full logo reveal. Well. One of the things that I did while I was making this video was, um, if I go ahead and open this logo layer, is I applied all of these effects and all of these kind of keyframes to this layer. And well, guess what? If I wanna change this, that means I have to either copy all of these effects and paste them onto another layer. But um, I ran into a situation with another project where I had a situation like this and there was a lot of linked um, expressions. So basically it wasn't as simple as just copying all of these and pasting them onto another layer. It was a matter of me having to recopy and duplicate all of the expressions that I had already done. And maybe there's a faster way to do that part, but um, I don't know what that is. But I did find this method for how to replace a layer with an After Effects. So let's say for example, your client um, saw this and was like, wow, that's really great. I want you to do this, but for my logo. And I'm just thinking, man, like there's so many linked items here. This one again, doesn't have any linked items, but man, there's so many linked items. Um, how am I ever gonna do that? So um, let's just go ahead and go to my desktop here and just grab, let's just say it's the Just Do It logo from Nike. So I'm gonna drag this um, layer into my composition and it's actually really simple. Okay, so I'm gonna select my Mobox layer and I'm gonna hold Alt on a Windows computer and I'm just gonna drag the Nike logo onto that Mobox logo and you see there that it just replaced this composition or this layer um, with this other layer. It basically replaced the layer but it maintained all of the keyframes and all of the effects that I applied to it. Um, now, obviously in this case, it didn't work out perfectly. Um, this composition is a little bit more confusing because of um, the size here and the, the size of the layer. So I will have to do a, a few minor adjustments to make this work. But um, imagine again a world where things are linked very dynamically. Um, it's not as simple as that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix this and show you what it looks like. So there it goes, and when I jump back to my main comp, again, it's replacing all of these layers um, perfectly. And as simple as that, um, I just had to make a few minor adjustments to make it work, and it just works. So um, that's a really simple way to replace the comps. Now, I'm gonna show you another example that it wasn't quite as easy. Okay, so I have another composition here with an advanced moon and planet rig. Okay, now this moon has a shadow and it has a landscape. And you can actually see here that there's a lot of expressions on this moon. Uh, so here, these all have expressions here. Um, so there's a lot of dynamic stuff going on there that would kind of be a total nightmare to change. And unfortunately this moon layer is not a pre-comp. So again, what I, what I can do is I can just find a layer. So let's say I have this Mars map that I want to use. I could simply hold alt and drag that Mars layer onto the moon and it just simply replaced that moon layer. So now Mars is our moon. So basically if you want to do this before again, you would have to copy 
all of the expressions and paste them over. And um, this again, isn't even that complicated of a comp, but um, there are other compositions that are even more complicated with even more expressions. So um, I hope you kind of get the idea. Um, what's great about this is that, let's say you have a very detailed um, animation that you want to duplicate, continue to duplicate, but you need to change the layers. So um, if you actually go watch um, one of the videos on real engineering, I'll maybe show the animation here. All of these zoom animations were just simply a copy and paste of the same zoom animation, with just the endpoint position moved a little bit. But basically what I was able to do is simply replace the different planet layers. So that way um, the animation again was the same, but the planet layer was different. Um, but it was all linked properly with all of the expressions and it turned out to be actually a really, really cool animation. So um, if you didn't check out that video on Real Engineering, I highly recommend it. There were some artifacts, some weird artifacts in the actual video render, um, but hopefully here you're able to see it in its full glory of re in resolution. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if this tip um, is something that's useful to you. And if so, um, let me know kind of where you've used it in the past. Again, this isn't a new, um, a new function, a new feature, but it is a, um, a pretty cool tool within After Effects. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.